Hello there everybody, I'm Ritz here with another later discussion and today we are going to be discussing instruction manuals. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's pretty lame, but um, it's a problem I have. Uh, back in the day, Lego did fix up uh, one problem. They used to fold it and you know, you could barely hold it open while you built and it was very hard. You had to get a paperweight or something that would even damage it further. This is good for a $20 set, one instruction booklet. For a $30 set, why do we get two? And I don't care about the size, how it's smaller than this one, just why two? They're so thin and going together, that would work just together as one instruction booklet. Uh, why two? We, for the Death Star, the 2008 Death Star at least, we got one instruction booklet which was like 500 pages long. For Ninjago City, we had three instruction booklets, which I didn't get. For like, like I got the set, but I don't get why we got three different ones. For the kind of uh, Corvus Glaive Thresher attack from Avengers Infinity War, we got three instruction booklets for that set. I don't know why. But I don't even know why LEGO doesn't just do one instruction booklet for per set. I think a lot of people like that a lot better, and I have no idea. Like, I understand uh, why they do stickers instead of prints, it's cheaper and all that. Um, like, I, like in all my other discussions, it's more of my preference and I think I understand why they do it, but I'd rather have this. But here, I just don't understand why they do it. But leave your thoughts in the comments down below about that. Please subscribe, uh, leave a like, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.